This is probably the most seen area of my home on Instagram, social media, because this is definitely my favourite feature of the whole home. Just because I've got all my colourful glassware out and it's one of those things, it's like the bedroom I, I mentioned earlier, it's so interchangeable that I just never get bored of it. The options to kind of change things out here and there is definitely my style and having more minimalistic base base features but then being able to build on it, remove it, build on it, remove it, if that makes sense. So quite often I will swap out the, these I won't, but these I swap out as and when I feel like it and swap them with things that I've got in my kitchen cupboards just to keep things fresh on the eye and keep things interesting really. But yeah, this was literally a piece of wood, like I think it cost me about £10, a piece of wood from Wix again and cut it down and then bought some brackets and popped it on the wall. And I've loved it ever since, really. And yeah, really love having my favorite bits of glassware on here, like lots of memories and stuff. So yeah, it holds a very special place in my heart. And then we've got the sconces above. So at first I thought the wires were super ugly, but I've actually grown to love how raw they look, I guess, and, and very exposed. Obviously we've got the wire, but it just adds that character that otherwise just wouldn't be in the apartment. Yeah, I'll turn them on. These are the lights on, and it just definitely, at night especially, makes a real focal point of this area, which I love because being my favourite area, obviously. Um, and then we've got the plants here, so this is mainly to hide the plugs behind and then this is just for decoration but um well not decoration really because it's real but it's just like to add a bit more interest to the area so yeah i use a lot of plants as a theme here a lot of plants to kind of hide ugliness or hide eyesores that are necessary but you can't really avoid having them in your space but yeah plants is a really good way of clonking over plug sockets or putting by a tv to distract from the tv those sorts of things really helps And then here is like my equivalent of, you know, fridge magnets that you put on and you put photos on. Our fridge is like built in, so we can't do that. Yes, it can look a little bit messy and a little bit tacky, but I love that. And it's about holding memories and having them somewhere that you can see them and it sparks joy. So instead we've created this little collage of like memoirs from holidays or pictures of family, friends, etc. So it's a really nice way to, it's kind of like a collection of memories to have like an artwork really but just on the side of what otherwise would just be very plain and boring so yeah we add things on here as and when we kind of come across them but yeah would recommend that if you do if you have an integrated fridge find a little space in your kitchen to have that space where you can put things on and display your memories and stuff So this part of my kitchen is my coffee station, very important and close to my heart. Every morning I look forward to making my coffee through this machine, it's the Sage Barista Express I believe. And yeah, it's just a fun way of making mundane tasks like making a coffee, learning new, new skills through foaming milk and like getting the right grammage etc. It's a really fun way of adding a little bit something more interesting into your morning every morning. Um, and that was actually a Facebook Marketplace find. So You've just got to be a bit careful about with, especially with food appliances, stuff like that, coffee machines, just really scope out who you're buying from, the condition of the product, why they're selling it, and really you should have no problems. Like, there were a few grim ones on Facebook Marketplace which you'd definitely avoid, but this one was really well looked after and they were literally selling it because uh, she was moving in with her boyfriend and he already had one. So a scenario like that is, a pretty legitimate reason to to sell up so yeah and then just like little glass containers for sugar tea bags it's just about elevating like, I really love elevating my everyday things into something a bit nicer so that could literally be that sugar glass food storage jar could literally just be like a bag of sugar in the cupboard but instead to make my life easier and to make things feel a little bit nicer when I'm doing them in the morning, I put it in a glass container and label it and keep it out. 
So it's like those little things for me are super important in interior design and making the little things a little bit more special. And this is where we sit and we eat. <laughs> this is the dining table and dining room setup, I guess. It's literally plonked in the kitchen because uh, that's how I go in apartments in, in Britain, um, in new apartments anyway. But we try to make it feel as like designated area as we can. So by having the overhead light above us, which turns on, um, so it's fully wide up and like can, we can actually use it sort of thing. And then, Having a round dining table really helps to break the mould with obviously a very square otherwise kitchen. But yeah, we love to sit here and have our dinner together and chat. And when we have friends round or whatever for dinner, then we pull out the table and we've got extra chairs to put around. So uh, super sociable place, but also super practical. And basically, yeah, a really nice, nice area to, to eat in. And then these chairs I've spoken about before, but they are from Facebook Marketplace as always. And they were literally, I think they were fifteen pounds for the three together from an office clear out. And I think they look super cool. It's the chrome touch I was kind of talking about in my last video. Breaks the mold a little bit. I think it looks super expensive. Adds a bit more masculinity to the space. I do have quite a feminine interior design taste, so this really helps break that up a little bit and add a bit more masculinity to the dining room area. And that is all we have time for today guys i hope you enjoyed the little home tour something a bit different and hopefully it gives you a nice overview of kind of the spaces i talk about within my home and how they look in real life or logically i guess thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye